Hi everyone, Charlotte here. Welcome to my home. Happy, happy Wednesday. Um, I'm totally out of sorts today. I started playing around with new product. Forgot to put the camera on and um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So I think we're just gonna learn together today. Um, this is where I am with this card and I played around with some vellum that I have and I didn't put any tissue on the card first. I went ahead, I used PVA glue and I glued the vellum down and uh, this is a piece of, they're all, they've all got vellum. This is vellum, and this is vellum, this is vellum and they just want to curl up. I don't know if if you want to try vellum on a card, I would say maybe put some tissue paper down first and you might not have that issue. So that is new and I am I went ahead and I got some gelatos which is this and I've never played with gelatos before ever. So um yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> We are going to go full steam ahead with this. But meanwhile, I caught myself when I was uh, playing around. I caught myself and thought, oh my gosh, I didn't put the camera on. So you're pretty much caught up. I did use some texture paste on this. Hopefully you can see it. And... Um, the color is all gelato, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and do it. And you can just kind of decide for yourself what you think. Um, elements, I pulled a butterfly for this because of the color I had not planned on. I didn't really don't know what I'm doing today for, I mean, for real. So I am calling this a card and I think it's kind of cool, and maybe I'll like it better tomorrow. I don't know. Not my favorite, but it's okay. So I want to go ahead, and you can see, I mean, if I put something flat and heavy on these, they lay nice and flat. But as soon as I take the weight off, they tend to curl. So um, we're just going to go and... Uh, we're just gonna do our thing. So I've pulled out this stencil today. Uh, I may have gotten this at Michael's. And we are just gonna go ahead and get our texture paste out. And hopefully we can do something that turns out pretty cool. And because it's black and white, I am just gonna pretty much cover it. Looks pretty neat. Don't know why I, why it got that brown in there. That's kind of weird. I mean, look at that. I don't know where that where that came from. You know, I'm hoping if I make mistakes, it may it it might be the uh, I've used this for to to as a stencil in um, with the distress ink, so that's probably where I'm getting it, and that's okay. Don't want to lose. Oh, one thing that I had thought I would do is I want to. I have these stickers. Okay, there we go with the sticker. Really kind of just wanted to place a sticker on these two. Just as another element. See what we get. that 
And then we're gonna go ahead and we will put some texture paste over a little bit of that. We're not laying flat at all. That's all right. Go on to the next. Let's get this. Okay. Happy with that. Okay, so that's on. It's dry. And let me, let's just start with this one. Pull out the gelatos and um see what we're gonna do so for colors i think on this one because it is just black and white i think i am going to well let's let's use some color so um let's go with Use these two. See what happens. Now I know with the gelatos, you can take a paintbrush, you can paint your color on like this. You can take a sponge and paint your color on. You can rub it on. You can take your finger and put it on. Um, this is also brand new to me that. Let's spray it. So I need to watch some videos on gelatos because I truly have no clue. But let's just play around with them and see what we get. So if we add water and we can spread it, That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Look at that. Get a deeper color. Look at that. It doesn't seem to spread like a watercolor does. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So let's get into this one and see what happens if I don't dry in between. See what we get. I think it's only going to get better and better. It's kind of cool. I'm just kind of play around with it. I like it. What do you think? Boy, are we curling up. That's pretty. I like that. All right, so let's go with this one. And I've got a very bright orange. And how about a red? Let's try it and see what we get. Ooh, that is bright. Very bright. Let's go ahead and put them both on. You can wet your finger Let's try that and just kind of finger paint. That is bright. Woohoo. Let's get some water on here. That is way too bright for me. That orange. Now, this is how you learn when you're not an artist and you're not too certain about what you're doing. This is how you're gonna learn. So let me put that aside. That was very bold, way too bold. Let's, um, 
Let's see. Oh, what a wacky movie this is. Let's go with some green. And maybe this one here. Maybe a touch of a touch of this blue. I say that and I don't know why. <laughs> make oh my gosh guys thank you for sticking with me oh this is what happens when you put the camera on and you have no clue what you are doing I kind of like this any of you out there that play with gelatos, feel free to let me know in the comments. Oh, what I'm doing wrong. It's late in the day. I've been working all day on my next surprise box with the, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been doing that all day. So my mind is just kind of blown. Oh, this is really kind of cool. I have to say, this is kind of cool. Look at that. Maybe just a little t more touch of... These are iridescent. They don't seem so iridescent to me, but... Bit. Oh, yeah, I can see it. It's kind of like a pearlized. I am going to dry these and then we're going to use a darker color and see, and see what happens, guys. So don't go away. I need to keep going with the gelatos. We're not giving up. Um, <laughs> I have more news. I have a jelly plate. <laughs> Does that terrify you? And I have a jelly plate. Okay, I like gelato, and that just needs, I mean, these are pretty cool now that I'm looking at them. But let's just get a little, little bit of, uh, black, um, watercolor. This one, I used the purple, almost looks like black, but in the light it isn't. So I want some black on this because it's just a little bit too, and it looks like because of the um, the vellum underneath, it's going to beat up, and it looks like the gelatos are beating up. So that's kind of interesting. This may not want to run. Well, it is running. And it is dark. So. I don't know, gelato and watercolors. Maybe not so much. Well, I've got the black tape there. So I think I want a little bit at the top, but I don't I don't know that it's gonna take it because of the vellum. See how it beads up? That's not going to work. Okay, so watercolor on vellum, not going to work. So this is going, all right, that's a done. That's done, done. Let's hit this one with some black. Yeah, see it beat up? Doesn't like it. So I wonder if the, if the gelatos are, um, they're waxy. 
and okay does not like it at all so I would say that's probably an A for effort but not a good mix so I think if I want to do that I'm going to need a black gelato obviously so there's no there's not even any point in trying it on this because we know this is not going to work so this is so nasty looking that's better let me go ahead and let's pull this dark here and let's just kind of go around I think this might be way better. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. So I can see the iridescent. It does, it does not like, the water does not like the, uh, the paper. Ooh, but that is really pretty. Look at that. I think I'm going to leave that, and I think I might do a little bit on this. See what we get. Yeah, I think... I don't know if the gelato was a, um, yeah. All right, let's dry these and see what we're gonna do to them. Pretty, just as they are. I mean, this, it, it, I think I'm liking it. I think I am. The tape stayed down. I think I'm liking this. Ooh, and I can see the iridescent on there. You can just see a little bit of the sparkle. Okay, so I do have some um, stamping I can use. Let's stamp on this. Just for another element. don't really know that I need it there so we will call that done and then I do have a couple things I kind of thought if these would show up this would be kind of neat so let's pull this out and see if we can use these stickers Because I thought maybe, just maybe, I like that. Let's try it and see. If you don't try it, you're never going to know. First, you have to be able to get the sticker off. It's there. It's um, it's dark outside, so it's it's hard to see. You can barely see it, but it is there. And then maybe if we put one over on the other side, on this end, there we go, easier, and just get this a little over the black, so you know it's there. That's cool. Hopefully you can see it and not just get the shine, but that's kind of cool. That's pretty. I like that. This one, I'm thinking I could keep this just exactly the way it is because it is pretty nice. I do have, so 
some dried flowers. But I don't know how these would show up really on a ring, the cards with the rings. I don't think I'm going to use them because I think being on the ring, they're going to fall apart. I do have, I think the colors of these are wrong. All right, I think we're going to call this one done without any elements on it. This one, I do have some stickers. These stickers came out of um, your creative, oh, creative studio. That's where I got these. So I'm thinking, and I want, I'm not real sure they're going to show up. Let's try one and see because they are see-through. You're not going to see that at all, but because I pulled it off. Let's just go ahead and stick it on there. But yeah, I mean, you've got to really, you have to be um, up close and personal to see that. But I think, I really do think that these are pretty the way they are. I mean, I could add flowers. I could add labels. I don't know what the point would be because they almost look like artwork. So I'm going to call these four done and um, say that I did have some gelato fun. That, I think, is really, really pretty. And then I think this one is equally as pretty, and I just attached the butterfly. So we're going to be playing with the gelatos. I don't know um, how long, but I know that if we continue to experiment and play with them, we are going to learn about them, and that's what I want. So if you're interested in seeing what we've done, isn't this, doesn't this just look cool? <laughs> These are the last four that we did, the ones with the bugs. But this ring is just the neatest thing ever. And I can't wait until it's just completely filled. So I will put the eyelets on these and I will get them on the ring and Thank you guys for hanging out. This is a wacky, wacky video. It's a wacky, wacky day for me. Gelatos are wacky because there's something so new. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.